Hey guys, Ross Givens here. I want to give you a quick lesson on IPOs and tell you about two stocks going public in the next month that I think could be great investments. Now, if you're not familiar, an IPO is simply an initial public offering. It's when a stock first becomes public, okay? So let's say, in a very simplistic example, you own a lemonade stand. You make $100 a week in that lemonade stand. You take those profits and you open a second one, a third one, a fourth one. You got a great little business goal, but you go, you know what? I want to grow faster. I want to open up 50, 100, 1,000 lemonade stands across this country. Well, you go to a bank. They won't lend you money. You're, you know, small fry. Um, the other option is to go public and sell equity in your company. And that's how you become a stock. They get together with investment bankers. They say, uh, okay, Mr. John Smith, your lemonade stands worth X, Y, Z. We think we should sell a uh, hundred shares at this much per share. We'll sell 50% of the company and you can take that money to grow. So they do. That hits the market at a given price range. All the money received from those shares from that IPO goes to the company, which they can use to expand and grow their business. And now half their company or a third of their company, whatever they decide to sell, is owned by shareholders. And then you and me and rest of the investing public trade those shares back and forth from now until kingdom come, uh, trying to see whether they're going to go up and down. So that's all an IPO is. It's when a stock first becomes public. Now, those of you who know me know I generally hate IPOs. I don't uh, almost ever invest in them because they all have pretty much the same pattern, something I call the pump, dump, and run. So let's take a look at a couple. This is Casper, the mattress company. went public uh, earlier in February, and here's the pattern I see on almost all of these. It's a quick pump. I think this thing IPO at around 10 or 11 bucks a share, popped on day one, ran up to 15 and then dumped immediately all the way down to 3 bucks a share and then slowly began to grind higher. And this is not a one-off situation. PPD uh, came out around the same time. Look at this, same deal. Came out in the high 20s, pumped to 33 dumped all the way down here to 10 bucks, and then slowly grinded higher. Same thing around the same month with One West Marine, uh, One Water Marine, excuse me, uh, pump dump, slow grind higher. This one's actually higher than its IPO price. A lot of them uh, take several years to get above here, but this is the general pattern. This is why I don't usually like IPOs, but as I said, there are two that I think could be interesting investments, both because they're really interesting companies, they're in hot sectors, and they're getting the support from some of the world's top investors. Now, the first one, a company called Quantum Scope. It doesn't yet have a ticker symbol. It's looking to IPO probably late September, early October, and this company is sort of a pick and shovel play in the electric car market. Now, we know the electric car space is lightning hot right now. Tesla, Tesla like 10x this year. Nikola's way up. Anything electric car related is, is just through the roof. And what this company does is make lithium batteries for those cars. Been working with Volkswagen for a lot of years, proving themselves in the space. And they're working on what's known as a solid state lithium battery, which really revolutionized that space. Now, they're claiming... On their batteries, they can get an 80% charge in 15 minutes, which is huge for electric car owners. Because if you think about it, let's say you got a 400-mile range in your car and you're trying to make a 600-mile road trip. Well, you drive the 400 miles, the thing's dead. Then you got to find a place to charge it, let it charge for, what, an hour, two hours, however long it takes, find something to do during that time before you can make the rest of your trip. However, if that stop got cut down to 15 minutes, that's a much more attractive feature for a car you're going to take long distances. And the company right now has an enterprise value of around $3.3 so we'll see what the thing IPO's at. But this one actually has the financial uh, support of one of the world's richest men, Bill Gates. Now, if you know anything about Bill Gates, you've seen the Netflix documentary, I think it's called Bill's Brain, really interesting. But the guy is just a research junkie. He does due diligence beyond the level almost anyone does. So my opinion is if he's investing in something, he's dug pretty deep and sees this as a game changer and something that could really improve the lives of of millions and millions of people. So definitely want to keep an eye on. That's Quantum Scope. The second one, Snowflake. Now, Snowflake is a cloud computing company. They've uh, called themselves the data warehouse built for the cloud. Now, it's going to come out under the ticker symbol SNOW, that's S-N-O-W, with an IPO range between $75 and $85 per share. Now, this one's a little price here. The company's valued around $22 billion. But again, we could see that be a several X investment should they prove to be everything people think they are. And they're getting backing by not only one of the best investors of all time, 
but one of the biggest opponents of IPOs, and that is Mr. Warren Buffett himself. He's been quoted many times saying, we almost never buy new issues. They don't even call us when they bring stocks public. And he's all, he bought a $250 million pilot position to finance this company, and he's agreed to buy another 4 million shares, again, at $75 to $85 a piece, at the IPO. And so Warren Buffett uh, rarely invests in tech. It took him, what, 10 years to get into Apple. Does, knows nothing about tech, Does avoids IPOs, and he's making a substantial bet on this one. So that's going to be really strong uh, for this company. It's going to put a lot of faith in it for investors. And so we could see this one make a really nice pop out of the gate. Now, this company knows what they're doing. They've been partnered uh, with Google's cloud, partnered with uh, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, so that the, the top of the top, the biggest players in tech are using their services. So it's clear this company is a market leader in the space. Again, Snowflake, ticker symbol S-N-O-W. I think this one also will IPO late September, early October. So keep an eye out for those two. Uh, whether you want to buy these for a long term, whether you're just looking for a, a quick trade, these could easily be one of those Beyond Meat type situations. If you look at BYND, the chart from earlier this year, that stock went public and it was just a cult stock. Everybody loved this non-meat meat. I forget what it is. It's like a plant-based meat or whatever. But the stock went up several hundred percent the first month or two it went public. And we could see something similar in these just because of the pedigree behind the people backing these stocks and the sectors they're in. So Quantum Scope and Snowflake, those are the two IPOs I'll be watching later this month.